so welcome back to Cape Door. We're back! <laughs> and this, just to let you know, this is an entirely different day than the previous episode. We are, we are back here again. You may be wondering why. Why to Cape Door yet again? That is because we were frustrated, folks. We could not abandon the hopes of the North Slope. Uh, as you saw last episode, we dug a little bit with our hands here on this, uh, this muddy scree where the, uh, the entrance to the slope was located. But uh, we've come back now with more manpower, more equipment, and we're gonna really attack this today, give it our all and see what we come up with. So here in a few hours, we'll time elapse of course, we'll see what we've uh, uncovered if at all. Let's take a quick overview of where we've been so far on this channel. In episode 15, we completed the uh, the level one front end, which we gained access to from the beach at it. Episode 22, we, uh, we went down the uh, giant main shaft. You can go see that. And of course, here we are today. The goal is to attack the North Slope opening buried under mud. So how do we know something is here? Well, we <clears throat> we have some uh, some actual testimonial from uh, a young mine hunter that was uh, quite young and was here around 20 years ago, and uh, went inside this when it was just a small slump over the mouth of the uh, the slope, and you could just uh, dig a little bit, go through, and then uh, it was wide open down into the. Uh, the North Slope. Now if we get into this North Slope today, uh, what it means is we're going to get down to level one from uh, from the backside inside the mountains. So that means we won't be heading towards the beach. We will be going northward. All right, about 45 minutes in to an hour. Here's what it looks like. We've caved a lot of this face down. We're starting to follow the, uh, follow the rock wall down because we're hitting uh, the rock face. So we just keep poking around, coming down. We should uh, reach the top of the portal. That's the goal. Okay, folks, another half hour, 45 minutes has passed and the digging continues. We have moved tons of fill here. Now I do want to comment, if you look at that hole there in the middle of the screen, we seem to, I'm not going to promise anything, but we seem to have a breakthrough where you can reach your hand down into that hole and it goes all around in some space. Now we don't know what that is, but it is odd that uh, there's lots of places to put your hand underground there where we haven't dug yet. So we're gonna continue following this rock face down and uh, we might have it. Here's a frontal view and I just wanna comment on something where we're uh, tearing off the, uh, the rock face here, taking off all the fill. Right here in the center of the screen is a distinct uh, quartz vein that we've traced. It goes right up there into the bushes. It's approximately, oh, I'd say maybe 16, 20 inches wide, completely vertical. And I'm gonna probably right now cut into a picture showing uh, an actual old mind map to show that the, uh, the North Slope opening is directly, if not touching, to, the, to this uh, vein immediately to its left, which is where we're going down. And like I say, right there in the center of the screen is the promising hole. Okay, looking out towards the water, I just wanted to point out there's a, a, a V-shaped chasm that comes in here that points right at this north slope spot. So basically it, uh, it's where they took out the, the vein from the surface that comes right oh, out through here. Found it. What? We found it. What? Found it. Holy fuck, let me get over here. Where? Right there, right oh there. shit. Okay, let me come up and get a, a vantage point here. Okay. Holy shit. 
We found the north slope, boys. All right, let's keep digging. We gotta make this hole bigger. That's good enough for a kitten, but not us. So everyone is in jubilant spirits because we uh, now just have to clear a manway to get into that uh, slope. It's not friggin' easy, folks. A lot of friggin' backbreaking work, but that's what you got to do sometimes to uh, to solve these mysteries. We came back determined. We weren't going to give up on this. We knew it was under the ground here. People have been in it. We were told, and we've got to get it out ourselves. Get it open ourselves. Wow, big hole, the air down here is nice. The battle continues, folks. We're- You could probably get down there now. We're beating this hole to death. Uh, it's potentially being judged as human size, yeah, enough that we can send a scout in to take a peek. Here's where we're at now. Uh, after the first scout attempt, we decided to widen it and make it much bigger. So now it's approximately two and a half times bigger than the little man squeeze that it was. So that'll give us a little more uh, ease to slip a scout in there. So he's going to attempt again. He's going to dig with his feet and push some of the slump down. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a nice manway going here for all of us. All right, it's come that time where we uh, we're heading in uh, as a group. One stays behind for safety. And in we go, including us, you, the camera, everything. In goes our second soldier. What a beautiful hole we created, eh? Look at that. Backpack. Test, test, test. All right, we are in here. We are in the North Slope, folks. Can you fucking believe this? And I'm gonna swear because it's worth it. So I'm looking down a, uh, a 25, 30 degree slope, heading downhill, exactly what we expected. The rock faces in here are, are beautiful. There's our, uh, there's our slump we created to the outdoors. And uh, you come down this mud scree which I am uh, bracing myself from sliding down. And right at the bottom of the mud there, the, uh, the rocks start. All right, I'm gonna slide on my butt here, down to the, uh, the rocks. You don't care about dirty clothes in these situations. Right here to the immediate left is that, uh, is the uh, quartz vein that's been taken out in chunks all down the wall. You can see remnants of it there in the ceiling, see all that white. So they did work it down as they went. I'm sure we'll see more of it. I see a big white chunk down there in the distance. Okay, down a little further, here's this uh, large white patch that uh, I commented on that I could see in the distance. This is that uh, quartz vein we saw outdoors. Here's some uh, long lost rotten timbers on the floor, just like balsa wood now. Light as a feather, can't hold up shit. So here at about, I'd say maybe 150, 175 feet, this is looking back up the north slope. In the distance there, you can see the little pinprick of light that is the little man squeeze hole we dug that we came through. So, all right, we're stopped here because uh, there's quite an interesting uh, timber we've come across. Looks like it was square cut in the beginning when it was uh, first created. We'll do some close-ups here. There's some weird, uh, I don't want to fall, some weird wires and nails. Here are those nails down the side. Now I just touched this thing and it's just like pulp. It's preserved by the dampness and the cold, I guess, for over a hundred years, but uh, 
There is absolutely nothing left of it except cellulose fibers. <laughs> okay, we're getting reports from our furthest explorer that uh, he has reached water, which means he's at the, uh, at level one. As we know from uh, the previous episodes, episode 15 and so on, uh, everything is flooded in this mine, the Hanway's mine, up to level one. Uh, that is because everything below level one is below the water, ocean, sea level, so... Now we're almost uh, to level one here, and I just want to stop and show you. There is some water flow, not very much. Of course, nothing like over at the uh, the main shaft next door here, but groundwater does come in here and flow down. Okay, I've reached the fellas. Uh, just to explain, uh, level one being the only level above water, um, as you can tell by the uh, the maps we've shown, this, the North Slope, does pass level one and go down to level two, which is, of course, underwater. Which means we should find a spot where the water just levels off and fills this slope, and it is right there ahead of us. So let's go take another look. Okay, so there's looking uh, up the slope to the surface. And like I said, there's where we were standing and underneath it, believe it or not, look at that, passageway. Very, very interesting. And you can see the water flow that I showed earlier trickling off the ledge. Check this out, the life that's down here uh, that doesn't require any light. In pitch darkness, this lives. Can anyone identify this fungus? Okay, here on the floor we found uh, some old tooling. It's always great to find artifacts, but uh, we'll come up close to this. This is a pair of grips, pliers of some kind. Beautiful. And here is the, uh, the money shot. Purely gorgeous. This is uh, the continuation of the North Slope at level one, heading underwater and going another 300 feet down to level two, which will be forever sealed to our uh, cameras and viewing. But uh, man, that is so cool. The, uh, the ore cart tracks just come out of here out of the, uh, the waste rock, head into the water there on the wooden ties and just go off into the distance. So here's the light in the water. Let's shine it around here. There's some wooden planking over in there. And like I say, the rails just continue off into the distance there. Oh, damn you and your focus. And right above all this is, uh, is an opening where we'll end up going across there anyway, but uh, yeah, lots of passages down here. So here's the rails heading down into the water. It's almost like at this point it heads off onto a wood support system. Do you see the space under there? And there is a uh, spooky hole in it right there. So I wouldn't want to wade into this water and step on this. That is not gravel. That is on top of rotten wood that the, uh, that the rails are uh, bolted or sorry, or, or nailed to. So there is up the slope to home. The ledge and below it, this giant timber going across. And there is another uh, drift, a pretty damn big one in there. And uh, we're gonna turn right around and head down this one. Wow. This is the one that heads back around and uh, passes by the, uh, the lagoon. here.
big stope up into the ceiling. Why are you guys discussing a porcupine? Uh, that, that cavern's supposed to be full of porcupines. Oh, just poop, no porcupines? Holy crap. It's like a lake of porcupine poop in there. Wow. It just looks like flat mud. Yeah, here's another view. Uh, if you step back and look, they, the stove goes up into the ceiling and actually drifts off into the distance there, maybe 25, 30 feet, right above that wood uh, brace. So we're continuing on. Looks like a confirmed end. Looks like a confirmed end. It looks like an end, and I'll confirm it. There's some animal skulls back here or something. Animal skulls? Yes, we have the grave of some poor little creature that didn't make it out. Curled up in the corner and uh, went to sleep. So on the other side of the big horizontal timba, this is the uh, this is the drift, the big drift, right underneath the slope, and it is a big one. Wow! Check this out. Two two and a half stories high, maybe. Yeah, they took out. Uh, there's the vein coming down um, again, which would have continued on the uh, past the wall of the uh, the slope and come down here we're actually below the slope or slope that's what's above the ceiling here right now some more artifacts we've got uh, buckets that were left behind all right here in the uh the big uh high ceiling stoped out drift there is a uh a right-hand passageway we're going to take that branches off it. So before we go forward and continue down there, we will uh, see what's down this. It's an end. More of that poop. And more poop. No carcasses, though. Yeah. Okay, we're back to the uh, the drift with the. Uh, the two and a half story ceiling, and uh, they're up ahead. We're gonna head down this way, see where this goes. We're finding uh, natural uh, occurrences of copper pieces on the, the ground here, which are uh, good finds if you're into minerals. They're hunting around, seems to be a little fruitful area here we found. He's, uh, he's going to do a crawl up in that hole there. We think it might be uh, where this uh, tunnel connects. Oh, he says he's in a big stope. Yeah, we're thinking this is where it, uh, it has to connect to the remainder of uh, level one that we were in last year. And we think this big uh, hump of a rock fall was the uh, culprit of what was separating the back end and the front end. Okay, here's in that, uh, up the crawl where he went, and it does go up into a big stope. So this is actually the last portion of the mine where we can push forward, and like I say, we're just trying to ascertain if this is the connector. So there is the, uh, the belly crawl, if I can get a shot of it here. 
So th this is the final belly crawl. It's probably 30 feet long and it heads out to the uh, front part of uh, level one. done and we're going to be heading up this bitch to the surface. Let's go. All right, we're on the outside now and uh, our last explorer is coming up the manhole. Here he comes. Birth by Mother Earth. <laughs> Yay! Hanways, North Slope, done! Can I get an amen up in here? Everyone's so quiet today. We're tired. Goodbye. Oh, is it that time? <laughs> well, we'll look up to the pretty leaves and we will conclude the Hanways rear part of level one and the north slope complete all by this nice little dug hole after what? Three, four hours of digging? At least. Bye-bye. Wolf, hold on for a second. Just before we roll credits, uh, I want to interject this uh, section here that was an afterthought. Just letting everyone know that as a group, we decided uh, after this trip that leaving the open hole that we dug um, of unearthing the North Slope was not very uh, ethical uh, to do. Uh, what we did was uh, disturb a site that was um, inspected by the provincial government and considered safe and sound and closed and uh, we ended up uh, in inadvertently well not inadvertently <laughs> obviously changing that status by just doing what we did so leaving it that way just didn't seem like the right thing to do so we're uh, showing this footage here shot on an entirely different camera than normal so you'll notice the footage is a little different looking uh, but we just wanted to show you that um, we did go back and do the responsible thing a couple members went back and took care of the hole uh, for those who may have been all enticed and excited by this hole, um, we just want to show you that it is no longer there. Um, we did take care of it, and if anyone wants to do what we did, that's all on you. Uh, but we cannot, as a group, um, leave it the way we did. So we undid what we did, and uh, it is sealed back again. Um, so that's it. We just wanted to make that clear and show that we're not asses, and uh, <laughs> we, do, uh, we do think about these things. And uh, it's been taken care of. Uh, that's it for this episode. Now we can roll credits. Go! Go!